So this video is mainly going to focus on uh, the setup requirements for OPP examination conducted by IIT Madras. I have seen a lot of videos about OPPE, what is the criteria, what is the eligibility criteria, what is the end term criteria. So all of those I will uh, mention in the description, you can see them. But I haven't seen any about the setup requirements and, and by the PDF sent by the institution, what I came to know was that the incorrect version and correct version both were almost the same. I will paste the screenshot here. They are almost the same thing. Uh, so I decided that I should share what happens in the examination, what all you should have, what your setup should, how your setup should be, and what all you need. So first of all, you need to enter the GMeet 30 minutes before the examination. You can even enter 45 minutes before, but you have you then I think you'll get bored for some time. So 30 minutes is fine. Uh, then you will get verified. The proctor will verify you. Now, how the verification process takes place is, you need to get a verification card. Uh, it may be your IIT Madras student card. It may be your college ID card. It may be your Aadhaar card. Any verification card, you need that. Some proctors will see it, some will not, but you need it. Okay, so keep it. Uh, the second thing you are going to need is, I think many of us need rough sheets whenever we are uh, having a programming language paper what your sheet should have is your name your roll number and your email id and the sheet should be empty there shouldn't be anything they would check it third thing they would see is your room they, uh, they would ask you to show your door if it is latched or not they would just take a room tour and see if there's someone else in the room or not it's kind of an experience and They'll also ask you to point the camera under the table to see if you are having something there. If there's any drawer, they'll ask you to open it and they'll check it. They'll check everything. And after that, you will set up your camera and your verification process will end. Yes, uh, your table should be visible. There shouldn't be anything on your table except for your verification card, the pages, any pen, uh, chargers if you want. Also, make sure you set near charging units because... Two hours is a lot of time and uh, your laptop's charging may finish by that time. Three things are main uh, while you are giving your exam. Your screen should be visible. Uh, your table should be visible so that you are not using phone and stuff. And your face should be visible. Don't think that this is an online exam so you would be able to cheat. No. Uh, when you will be giving exam also... On the screen, the, the laptop's camera will be on as well. Your entire screen would be shared with them. And every time you change your screen, they will get a notification. You will get a notification that you have changed your tab. So, there are a lot of things, you know. So, just keep in mind you are not cheating. Just keep in mind that you have studied before. And <laughs> I myself have studied one day before, but it's chala gaya. So when you give your OPP exam, there's a chat box on your screen. So whenever the proctor used to message me, I used to receive a notification of that. So that showed uh, tab inactivity. I got five tab inactivities and I was so afraid for my life. Yaar, mera to ho gaya kaam, paanch tab inactivity. Inho ne to mere number card dene. Par mene koi, I didn't switch my tab to another site. So I think they manually check it afterwards that if you are going to another site or not or if you're using any other resources but in my case it was all right that those were chat box notifications so and you don't get any in any kind of dilemma just block your chrome notifications because those gave me a bit heart attack in opp1 that's it close your room uh, there should be no one there should be no one in your room uh, you should set your camera so that your face, your table and your laptop screen is visible. Uh, your table should be empty. There should be nothing except for the things I mentioned. There should be nothing under your table. That's it. That's it. That's all you need. You, you need to have a good internet connectivity. And about the mobile data. If you are using mobile data instead of Wi-Fi, you need to mention that to the proctor. Also, there's a discourse, if you guys don't know, uh, where you can mention your doubts. 
as soon you will see so many of my doubts they i asked so many doubts and my exam ended abruptly and any kind of these kind of doubts don't mail them to iitm it takes a lot of time for them to answer mention it on the discourse there are many people that can answer so i'll provide the link for that too that's it for the video thank you for watching like share and subscribe about the setup requirements and and the pdf documentation provided by iit madras when i saw and in the pdf documentation and in the pdf document i saw that they had a uh, and the pdf that and the pdf that the institution has shared with us when i saw the corrected and uncorrected version video uh, link then that pdf file कराची में कराची कराची से लोग ईद मनाने अपनों में के लिए जा रहे हैं कराची से ईद मनाने अपनों कराची से लोग अपनों में ईद मनाने के लिए अंदरूने मुल्क जा रहे हैं कैमरामैन इस्माइल कराची में